don't know if you know this, but Australia is slowly taking over K-pop recently with idols like Rosé, no. Lily, yes, of course I can sing. Haven't you heard Oh Oh? <laughs> Jake, hey Jake, pass me a fork. Huh? Pang Chan and Felix. What are you gonna have in the Avo? Oh, uh, in the Avo? Um, what am I gonna have? Oh, I'll have another trip on the Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> and trust me, there's gonna be even more and more talent coming from the island continent, Australia. Here's why. Basically, having an English speaker in a K-pop group is almost necessary now. K-pop has gone global and to reach the largest audience possible, a group having an English speaker absolutely helps. Okay, yes, there has been idols from the US or Canada that fill that role, but Australia is still kind of a new untapped place to find K-pop talent. And to be honest, I think it's just because K-pop companies know that we just like to meme the Australian accent. So many people say that I speak like this, like, hello? I'm kind of offended. 